What's up everybody? Thursday with Todd for November 1st, 2012. Uh, apologize a couple days late uh, with Halloween coming up and having a daughter that loves to trick or treat and I love to take her. Um, has some stuff going on Tuesday night that I didn't think about and uh, some other functions to do last night. I had planned to do the video last night, didn't work out. Uh, both myself and Ashlyn uh, for the first time I ever went into a corn maze, which was pretty cool. Uh, I thought I could nail it, got lost a couple times. It was... <laughs> Anyways, uh, and a hayride, stuff like that. So that was some much needed family time. So, uh, but I'm back again. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, it's a little cold down here in the basement. Uh, so, I want to let you guys know that. Uh, next thing I want to get into is I want to uh, send a uh, happy birthday out to my uh, friend Sam Beck. Um, Sam is uh, someone who I met. Uh, Sam's family and Drew's family are really close uh, friends, and that's you know through Drew and it, you know Drew came up, Sam came up. It was you know it was one of those things where that's how I met Sam. So uh, I just want to send a happy birthday out to you, Sam. I hope your day was was great. And uh, here in a few days, you'll have a little, I got a little something special uh, coming your way. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now down to the uh, business end of things. Uh, I've been working on finishing up some wheel graphics. Uh, I got four done. Um, and by the way, you can go to uh, the No Comply Facebook page. Uh, to see the pictures, I, they don't really show up very well on the camera, so I'm just you guys go to uh, that page, you know, No Comply page on Facebook, and you can see, bring up the pictures. Uh, but I was working on uh, a graphic for Affliction, which will be uh, Lab Wheels with the graphics exclusive to Affliction, um, and also Deshaun Harris and Jacob Hiller's uh, graphics, pro graphics, and I've uh, got those done. And also, I was doing a uh, limited edition, uh, special edition uh, Drew Hutchings graphic wheel, which um, a large portion of the proceeds from those will go straight to the Drew Hutchings Memorial Foundation. Um, there's a series of products that will go up on the site here before too long um, that will uh, be strictly for the purpose of, you know, you know helping you. Uh, put money into the foundation so we can get going with some of our plans uh, next next spring. <clears throat> so again, I don't I don't I don't want to sell any of that stuff to make a profit. It's you know strictly something I'm doing in memory of Drew, uh, you know, to help that cause. So um, yeah. Also, there is a new product. Coming to No Compliant Homewood, both. Uh, it's a joint collaboration uh, ju between Justin and myself. Um, here in the next few days, uh, possibly by the end of the weekend, maybe, maybe, maybe Monday or something. I'm not for sure, but uh, it'll be coming up here pretty soon. So you guys uh, be on the lookout for that. <clears throat> and uh, again, that'll be exclusively found at NoComplyFingerboards.com and HomewoodFB.com. And uh, Let's see here. Oh yeah, there. We only need a, on the No Comply Facebook page. We only need like 200 more likes until we have the uh, drawing for Dex for Life. Which um, I know that might sound a little bit misleading. I want to let everybody know it's um, for the life of No Comply. As long as I'm doing what I'm doing, uh, somebody will win a board uh, four times a year indefinitely until I retire die, give up, have to quit, whatever. As long as I'm running no comply, that will, uh, you know, that will, that will be valid. So for, you know, four boards a year, that's, you know, what, every uh, three months. So every 90 days you can get a board. So uh, it will be, <clears throat> excuse me, drawn from uh, one of the 1,000 likes. So I uh, just got a couple more things here to get through. Um, actually a couple more than a couple. Um, I'm off and on for a long time. I've been trying to get down the graphic, uh, 
graphics hub. One of them I thought I've had in the past and it turned out to be more uh, cumbersome than it, you know, than it was worth. And I think I have a method that is going to work out. Um, you know, all along I've wanted the graphics to be such that instead of, you know, like heat transfer graphics will tend to chip, chip off the board. Um, <clears throat> and then the way that I had been using, it wouldn't chip off, it would wear off, but due to the film uh, and the type of adhesive, it would kind of sometimes bunch up and ball up in little bitty tiny pieces. And, you know, it worked. A lot of people like that, but, uh, you know, I got to be honest with you personally, I don't because it's not what I've always wanted. <clears throat> you know, I've wanted something that was almost literally inks on the bottom that, you know, now you get a, like a new skateboard and you, you know, you go, you know, slide a rail, wax up a curb, whatever, you know, the, the inks or, you know, from the bottom of that board will smear across and you get those streaks and it'll pick up wax residue and things like that. That's, that's what I'm trying to accomplish with the graphics for the board. So I got one today that I tested and again, this is just unshaped. And uh, <clears throat> there's a couple spots where I didn't get the adhesive completely on. Again, this is my first attempt at it. Uh, basically, I just did the same thing I've always done. In this situation, I take a rail or something and just kind of simulate like hitting tricks or whatever, because you know it's it's going to give me the same result whether I'm actually riding it or what. So it's a little more efficient on time. But I'll bring this up here and let you guys kind of see. Um, Hopefully it focuses up a little bit, yeah. As you can see, the uh, inks do smear across the board. And there's a couple spots where, uh, you know, I've done this scratch deal a lot. Uh, so the, there's a part where they've actually worn down to the wood. Um, up here on the top, you might be able to see how they've smeared across. Uh, if I could hold it still and as well here you can really see the streaks um, and again this is one of those deals that if you like have something like a uh, you know a rail that's got wax or something on it or curve the wax residue that's black will pick up and smear into it as well and you know this is more on the lines of what I really 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 want so I'm in the process of trying to uh, get that master I'm almost there I've got it I think just need to you know, do it a few more times to get the system down efficiently. So that's that. Uh, there's also a picture of that on the, uh, will be a picture of that on the No Comply webs uh, No Comply Facebook page, Lord have mercy. Um, also, I'll be updating the site this weekend, uh, to possibly to add a new product that uh, Homeland and myself and No Comply are having. I'll also get the rails in, a couple more um, board graphics that people have requested and uh, a couple new wheel graphics. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And I also wanted to say, uh, I had a deal going on where the 100th uh, registered customer on the Comply site, the new site, uh, would win uh, a board and uh, some wheels and uh, let's see here, grip and uh, stickers and I can't remember what else, but uh, that uh, 100th registered customer was Orlando Hill so uh, your stuff is en route and uh, I want to say congratulations and you know we might have another one you know like another couple hundred away or something just uh, uh, keep your head open keep your eyes peeled for that your head open <laughs> trying to say too many things at once um, and finally um, just wanted to say that all you know my uh, fingerboard fingerboarders and friends and people that I know and colleagues who I have been affected by that mean bitch Sandy uh, out on the East Coast. Uh, you know, I've, I've followed the news and it's, it's you know, it's heart wrenching, gut wrenching to see that going on, you know, and I've been thinking of everyone, uh, even, you know, just people that I don't know. But, uh, you know, I hope that, the, you know, the fingerboarders and, you know, people that I know and all of us fingerboarders know that who, were affected by it, you know, can get back to some sort of sense of normalcy as soon as possible. So, uh, you know, just let you know that people are thinking about you guys. So, uh, and I think that's it for this episode. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me before about this uh, jacket 
flannel thing that I wear and I was going to uh, elaborate on that. Uh, basically I inherited this from uh, my brother-in-law uh, via my sister. He was killed in a car accident um, about seven years ago and uh, yeah, it was seven years ago and uh, he and I never always got along but we did uh, there for a while and just it was a tragic accident um, and she we were about the same size so she he had some clothes and things that you know my sister said hey you know if you can wear these you go ahead and take them and I, I don't know what it was about this this flannel shirt thing but every winter time you always see me in this thing in videos and you know, when people come to Pop Factory and everything, and I don't know, it's one of those things that's got holes in it, it's stained up, it's got glue, it's got dyes on it and everything, but I just cannot part with it, and I just, when it gets cold, it's like it's second nature to, to like wrap up in it. I don't know if there's a subconscious connection kind of thing going on, but people have asked me about that. It's like, hey, what's up with that black and white thing you always wear? So, um, you know, check out my time. I wanted to share that with everybody, so. Um, now you know why uh, I'm always wearing this thing, so you'll probably always see me in it. So my time's running out. I got about a minute left on my battery. Thanks for sticking this one out, and apologize again for the delay. As always, NoComplyFingerboards.com, HomewoodFB.com. Check us out on Facebook, um, YouTube, which is where you're at now. Uh, yeah, and thanks for the continued support, and we will see you again this coming Tuesday. Take it easy.